Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 13.2.3, which was just released by Apple today, and this guide will also serve as a tutorial for how to jailbreak future firmwares immediately when they drop, utilizing check grain. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win. All right, so to start, depending on when you're watching this video, you may have noticed that Check Rain, as of now, does not currently officially support iOS 13.2.3. It says inside of the interface that the iPhone is supported, but 13.2.3 is not. Well, as a subscriber recently pointed out in my last video, you can actually utilize a terminal command to essentially bypass that and force Check Rain to run anyway. So super awesome stuff considering the iPhone 10 and lower are susceptible to the Checkmate exploit, which means that they are jailbroken for life. Just know that if you do this, you yourself are assuming any and all responsibility for potential data loss on your device. So definitely create a backup first before trying this and also consider just waiting for the official version of CheckRain to be released that supports iOS 13.2.3 or higher. Like I said, this will also function on future firmwares as well, including the public version of 13.3 and well, any other future version of it. Because this is such a low level exploit, it's not patched by software like iOS updates. So in theory, you should be able to use this for any new release. And this tutorial will be updated to reflect that on confirmation that it works on that future version. So with that said, let's get into the caveats before I tell you guys exactly how to jailbreak. First and foremost, as I mentioned, this only supports up to the iPhone 10. If you happen to have an iPhone 10s series, 10R, or an iPhone 11 series, you're not going to be able to jailbreak utilizing check grain, but do not freak out. A jailbreak will come for you eventually. It's just not going to happen right away. So be sure to bookmark our jailbreak status checker page, which will be linked down below in the description, the second link. And once a jailbreak is out, it will be updated to reflect that. And it will also have download links the very second a utility is posted. Next, another major caveat besides device support is that you do need a Mac. So right now, CheckRain does not include support for Windows or Linux, which means that you unfortunately do have to have a Mac. A virtual machine will not cut it right now. Windows support is coming. Subscribe to be notified the very second that drops. And then of course, you will also need a computer to actually boot tethered anytime you want to use your jailbreak stuff, so to speak. You actually do have to use a computer to boot tethered because this is a tethered or a semi-tethered jailbreak. You can still reboot and use all of your system applications, but to use anything related to your jailbreak, you got to boot tethered. And to do that, you have to plug in because of this low level exploit. It's only deliverable over USB. So the very first thing that you guys need to do is visit the first link down below in the description. Once you do that, you're just going to scroll down to the download section and just click to download check grain. There, you're going to click get the beta now and you're going to click download for Mac OS, whatever version it happens to be at the time of watching this video. And from there, it's going to come in a disk image or .dmg format. Just mount it by double clicking it and you'll receive a window that looks like this. You're then just going to drag CheckRain over into the applications folder. If you already have a previous version, you'll receive a pop-up like this. If not, it's just going to copy it over inside of your applications folder. And you might need to authenticate that depending on how your Mac's set up. Now, you're going to have to open CheckRain from within inside the applications folder. And you'll notice here that the the first time you try to open it, it will pop up with this message that it cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Don't worry, that's just a system message that Apple has put in place for when you download anything from online. So that's not because CheckRain contains malware. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's just a security precaution put in place by Apple. We can just click cancel to that pop up. And then inside of system preferences, I want you guys to load it up and go to security and privacy. And then there you'll receive this message that says check rain was blocked. So you want to click on open anyway, followed by open to the prompt. And then you're just going to launch check rain again from with inside the applications folder. And this time it should pop up. So we're just doing that to ensure that our Mac can utilize check rain. Because as I mentioned previously, you'll notice that of course it does say that this firmware is not supported, even though we can still use check rain. All right, so now you can close out of check rain on your Mac. I want you to open up a terminal window. If you've never opened Terminal before, just search for it inside of Spotlight. Just type in Terminal and then it should pop up that way. Now, 
plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable. If this is the first time connecting to the Mac that you're using to jailbreak with, then open up Finder, navigate to your device tab, click on trust, followed by tapping on trust on the pop-up and entering your device's passcode. If you have an older Mac that's pre-Catalina, you're going to basically just do that inside of iTunes, the exact same procedure. Now, we're going to have to enter DFU mode. To do that, make sure you are plugged into your computer using an official Apple cable. You can't use any accessory like a dock or any third-party cable. Like I said, it has to be an official Apple one. And now the steps to enter DFU mode are pretty simple, um, but they are a little complicated at the exact same time. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but if you stick with me and if you practice, you're going to be able to get this right anytime. So it's basically volume up, release it. Volume down, release it. Hold the side button. As soon as the screen goes black, release it. Hold the side button and the volume down button together for about five seconds, release the side button and continue holding volume down. Now your screen should remain black. If it's not black and if an Apple logo pops up, you didn't do it properly and you have to do it again. So let's go ahead and try this. Volume up, volume down, holding the side button. Now I'm going to let go of the side button once the screen turns black and I'm gonna to count to five seconds while holding side and volume down. But I've gotta release the side button first. Now one, two, three, four, five. Let go of the side button and continue holding volume down. Um, if you see an Apple logo, like I said, it didn't properly enter DFU mode. Now I am inside of DFU mode. First try here, you'll see inside of Finder it pops up saying your Mac has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Even though it says that it's in DFU mode as long as the screen remains black. So let's go ahead and click OK to that prompt and we can just drag that window off to the side. Now inside of our terminal window that we opened previously, I want you to paste the command that you'll find down below in the description. It's both on the post that's linked there, the very first link, and it's also in the description itself. Basically, it's just telling CheckRain to run um, inside of its command line form. So let's go ahead and hit return after pasting that command in. It's detected the device already, and it's exploiting it. And it's exploiting it. So let's go ahead and wait for this. All right, we have the scrolling text now. It's going through the exploitation process, and I'm not going to cut anything out of this video. I'm just going to let it run so you can see approximately how long it should take. All right, and now it is rebooting. It's actually done already, so let's go ahead and swipe up to unlock. Whoops, enter the passcode here. And now you can see we have the Check Rain app. So let's go ahead and launch that. Tap on Cydia, tap on Install Cydia, and it's just going to take a second. Now, similar to the jailbreak process, I'm not going to speed anything up, and I'm just going to let this play through. So again, you can see approximately how long it should take. Note that you need an internet connection for this on your device itself. My device is connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't have an active internet connection, it's not going to work and you're going to have to connect to the internet before actually attempting to install Cydia because none of the files are actually delivered during the jailbreak process. It has to download them. So let's go ahead and wait for this. Okay, so you can see we have Cydia on the home screen now. We can go ahead and tap into it. And there we go, guys. We are successfully jailbroken. I'm scrolling down to the bottom now to show you that inside of Cydia at the very bottom, it confirms this iPhone 10 comma 3, which is the identifier for the iPhone 10 global, is running iOS 13.2.3 with the latest beta version of Cydia. And I'm going to show you what happens when I go to upgrade my packages. You can see the standard Cydia installation text there. So we're fully jailbroken now. How awesome is that? This tutorial again will also work in the future on unsupported versions of iOS by CheckGrain. Just note though, again, that it is a little bit more risky. So I do recommend creating a backup in advance. Um, but yeah, we're now fully jailbroken on Apple's latest firmware. And in fact, I'll go inside of settings, general, and then about, and you'll see that this confirms we are on 13.2.3 as well. So guys, that just about wraps up this tutorial. One other thing that I want you guys to note is that anytime you actually reboot your device or it powers off or dies and you have to turn it back on, as I said toward the beginning of this video, 
none of your jailbreak apps will work or none of your jailbreak tweaks will work. In fact, Cydia itself will just crash. Anything you've obtained that is in an app form will also crash. And the only way to get it back is to essentially boot tether it again. And to do that, just rerun through the jailbreak process. Just watch this tutorial again, follow the exact same steps, and you'll have your jailbreak stuff back in a flash. And as long as you don't reboot, which isn't too big of a deal, I rarely do so myself anyway, um, you don't have to actually do this and you don't have to boot tethered. So it's not a big deal. And it means that you'll be able to jailbreak for every single firmware because tethered jailbreaks are just the best. They persist because they're based on a hardware exploit that can't be patched by Apple. And that's it guys. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun with your jailbreak. Check out down below in the description. I'll have a link to our recent top tweaks video to get you started on what to install now that you're jailbroken. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Oh.